Today, today's part is some of the arguments about uh, the deaths and uh, the what we should do about uh, the what we should think about uh, the death and uh, the treatment. Okay. Well, I, I ha asked last time. I asked you to think about the human death. So, so therefore, the, the maybe the you have investigated about the de death. And uh, in Eastern countries, the <coughs> traditionally, 60 years old is a very important year. And uh, the, because the Oriental zodiac, zodiac is 12 animals, the, it turned around 12 animals, zodiac, and then the return to the first one. So therefore, the 60 years is uh, very important, and uh, the human being become old, but uh, the, it will, they, will, they will go back to the baby. So therefore, the, some red clothes, red colored hood, or red colored outerwear is presented to the elderly people who have get to the 60 years old. Okay. So you can vegetative state, maybe the, you have heard the vegeta, vegetative state. The brain stem is working, still working, but to the most of the most part of the brain, the cerebrum and the cerebrium is injured, are injured. So therefore the functionality drops. But to the brain stem is working for the spontaneous self breathing. So therefore they can they can do the breathing, but to the cannot eat, cannot drink. So therefore the outward nutrition, for for example, some the energy source is provided from outside for three, and then the he can live, they can live, but to the they cannot communicate to the outer world. So therefore the, that is a vegetative state. And also, the presently, the many countries thinking about the death is a brain death, is also the death. The brain death is, uh, the, ma, oh, most of the brain is functionally lost, but to the, but to the heart is beating, but by, by work for the, for, by, by working, uh, by some mechanical ways, the, some the machinery or breathing supporting is necessary. But to the traditionally, the cardiac death, the heart arrest is uh, traditionally the maybe the traditional death part. That is uh, the trauma period of death. So there are three main three main phenomena. One is a uh, heart arrest arrest of the heart, and the second is uh, stop breathing, and the third is uh, no reflection to the light of the purple, for example, the no reflection from the outer stimulus. So these three phenomena show the, so the cardiac death. So therefore, the, it is uh, traditionally that we are recognized as human death, it looks like this. And, but to the, of course, so after cardiac death, not all the all the uh, cell cell body cell is 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 dead. So therefore, the some of the hair or the some of the nail is growing after the after the arrest of the heart. And then, but the the after a few after a short time, the all of the body become rigid, and of course, the human body temperature become decreased. And then the death spot, death, death spot, like some the stores of the, some, some part of the stores of the blood circular is stopped. So therefore, the, some, some blood is uh, stored at some part, and, the, and this blood is uh, looked from the, through the skin surface. So therefore, the, it is uh, it is set the death spot of the red or the purple marks of the skins. 
and then the death stages, and then the all of the all of the part of the of the organs and skin become destroyed. But uh, some of some people is thinking that all of the cells should should be should be dead for the for the dead dead recognition. But uh, of course, the individual death is a continuous process. So therefore, the, it is very difficult to which which time is a completely death. We should we should discriminate the alive or dead. It is very difficult to understand. What are the human regulatory organ? Ma, maybe the nervous system is uh, to do some regulations. The nerve system and the endocrine system. Endocrine system is uh, about some chemical substances, chemical materials, the <coughs> controlling chem chemical materials, and pH adjustment, and of course some the salty salty part part. Uh, this, this destination is uh, controlled, and then the nerve system is controlling the moving motion, and also the some uh, information should be should be uh, exchanged from out, outside. So central nerve system and and the peripheral nerve system. Central nerve system is uh, mainly the brain and the spinal cord. Brain and the spinal cord. Yeah? And the peripheral system is the peripheral to 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 capture capture the some information from outside and of course the uh, uh, give some the uh, control signal to the peripheral organs. For example, the hand and legs. For example, the, so so therefore the brain is mainly the three part: the cerebrum, cerebrum and the brain stem, uh, it is looks like this, the, the cerebrum and the cerebrum and the brain stem. Brain stem is looks like this. And then the, the spinal cord is, uh, is for the signal transplant, transport, transformation. Okay. The uh, cerebrum is the old all the brain, so therefore the man, emotional behavior and the autonomous functions is controlled by this, the, this part. And cerebrum is mainly the motor function control. And the brainstem is uh, the controlling nerve control, so therefore the breathing and the circulation or other fundamental functional fundamental functions is controlled through the brain stem. Just like a video, you must how nerve system works. So, hi. Yes, uh, I the nervous system is made up of two parts. Each part contains billions of neurons. The first part is the central nervous system. It contains the brain and spinal cord, which is a fibrous, rope-like structure that runs through the spinal column down the middle of the back. The other part is the peripheral nervous system. It consists of thousands of nerves that connect the spinal cord to muscles and sensory receptors. The peripheral nervous system is responsible for reflexes, which help the body avoid serious injury. It's also responsible for the fight or flight response that helps protect you when you feel stress or danger. Let's examine an individual neuron up close. Here is a peripheral nerve. Each one of the nerve bundles, or fascicles, contains hundreds of individual nerve fibers. Here's an individual neuron with its dendrites, axon, and cell body. The dendrites are tree-like structures their job is to receive signals from other neurons and from special sensory cells 
that tell us about our surroundings. The cell body is the headquarters of the neuron. It contains the cell's DNA. The axon transmits signals away from the cell body to other neurons. Many neurons are insulated like pieces of electrical wire. The insulation protects them and allows their signals to move faster along the axon. Without it, signals from the brain might never reach muscle groups in the limbs. Motor neurons are responsible for voluntary control of the muscles all over the body. The operation of the nervous system depends on how well neurons communicate. For an electrical signal to travel between two neurons, it must first be converted to a chemical signal. Then it crosses a space about a millionth of an inch wide. The space is called a synapse. The chemical signal is called a neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitters allow the billions of neurons in the nervous system to communicate with one another. That's what makes the nervous system the body's master communicator. Too lucky. Too lucky. Yeah, the central nervous system to peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system are higher nervous activities, autonomic nerve functions. Because the higher nerve activity are based on the memory, experience, knowledge, and then the, some the learning skills is stored. And then the automatic nerve functions is uh, unconscious, the naturally having. So therefore, the, it is instinctive function. This is uh, this is two two ways. So first one is uh, the naturally having, and the after birth we are getting two ways. We we are controlling systems. Persist, persist vegetative state. What is a vegetative state? Vegetative state is a uh, brain death is completely all of the death part, uh, brain part is uh, the death. But uh, the vegetative state is the most of the cerebrum is lost, but to uh, the brain stem and some of the cerebrum is working. But to uh, the the cerebrum is dead, so therefore the, they cannot do the self-breathing, and also the self-breathing, they can do the self-breathing, and also the refle right reflection, they can do, have right reflex, they can do, but to the other, other, other part, the, no, the brain cannot cannot work well. The the definition of the of the vegetative, vegetative state is the uh, Japanese society is setting like these six items. The, they cannot move by himself, and they cannot feed by them, by himself. Tests and urinary incontinence because uh, they cannot control the output. And then, the, the, if, if they can speak something, they can make some sound, but to the, that they have no meaning, we cannot, can, we cannot understand the meaningful, meaningful speech. And also, the, this is the self something, the output. The, this is the input. The sound instruction is given to, to him. And slightly, it is can be they can respond slightly, but to the mutual communication cannot. It mutual com communication is impossible. Uh, eyeball is moved, but to the they cannot recognize by using the eyeball. So therefore, it means the some part of the brain is working, but to the they cannot communicate from the, each other, the, from the outer people. And the brain death, brain death is uh, most of the, 
Beta-blue state is working the brain stem and the cerebrum, but the, most of the brain is lost in the brain death conditions. So it is said never recover by, by accident or the stroke. The brain stem is worked, cannot work. So therefore, the, they cannot recover. So therefore, the, the, this brain death condition is, is recognized as, a, as a death for human being in many countries. So it is set here. Death is the complete and irreversible loss of brain function, including involuntary activity necessary to sustain life. Well, this is obviously an incredibly sad, heartbreaking situation. It's also very confusing for a lot of people. So let's start off by talking about some of the terms here. Brain death. It, brain death is not the same as being in a coma or a vegetative state. Brain death, by definition, is irreversible. Now, in the United States, in most places, it is legally synonymous with death, the same as if your heart stops. A brain death means a total loss of brain activity. Now, to determine it, uh, doctors will often do several things. A physical exam, for example, shine light into the pupils and see, do they dilate? Do they move and constrict? Gently rub the eyeball with some cotton and see if the eye reacts that way. Sometimes they'll put ice water into the ears and see if the eyes move in a particular fashion. And these are all tests of the brain stem. They'll also do something known as an apnea test. That means they turn off the ventilator for several minutes and see if the person shows any signs of breathing on their own. As confirmation, uh, oftentimes uh, they'll do scans to check to see if there's blood flow to the brain and also test to see if there's electrical activity from the brain. But again, it's that detailed clinical neurological exam that is so important. Now, coma, if it goes on for an extended period of time, is called a vegetative state. And there's a fair amount of interesting research in this area. In a rare handful of cases, for example, people who have been in a vegetative state for years have returned to some level of consciousness. This is rare, but it does happen. But again, brain death is something else entirely. There is no activity in the brain. There is no blood flow to the brain. It is a grim situation, but again, something that a trained doctor can pretty easily diagnose. Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, brain function, ね, brain function is completely, completely lost. Is a brain death personally actually dead? On TV, you hear the term vegetative state and coma and brain death all the time in medical shows. But what do these terms actually mean? Hey there, Brainiacs, Trace here for DNews. For non-medical people, the terms vegetative state, coma, and brain dead are used interchangeably, but they are not synonymous, and there are very important distinctions. People in a vegetative state still have a functioning brain stem, meaning their body is essentially on autopilot. They can breathe on their own, have a sleep-wake cycle, and react to some stimuli, but they can't hold a conversation or take in their environment. Neurologists define consciousness by wakefulness and awareness, and people in a vegetative state are awake but unaware. People in a coma, on the other hand, are not awake or aware. Comas can happen either if their cerebral hemispheres aren't working, or if the reticular activating system, the part of the brainstem responsible for wakefulness, is damaged. Then people enter a state of deep unconsciousness, like the most hardcore nap ever taken. Still under the surface, though, their brain is at a minimum sending out some signals. It's possible to recover from a coma into a vegetative state and then regain awareness. Unfortunately, it is also possible to progress from a coma to a state where all neural activity ceases and the brain no longer has any input on the body's function. This is called brain death. Brain death does have another name in the medical community, death. Someone in a vegetative state or a coma is still considered alive, but brain death is irreversible. So doctors go through a series of tests known as the brain death examination before officially determining that person is in fact brain dead. 
These tests look for any brain function, even the most basic brainstem reflexes. If the patient fails them, they are considered legally dead. Sure, they can have the semblance of life thanks to life support, which in this context is kind of an ironic name, but a brain dead person cannot live long without assistance. Pacemaker cells in a person's heart can continue to function independent of the brain for up to a week, meaning that blood can keep pumping. But the brainstem is responsible for keeping breathing going. Even when you're not thinking about it, your brain is regulating your breathing, though I guess you're probably all thinking about it now. Complete cessation of neural activity means even that basic function of operating the lungs stops. Within minutes, CO2 levels in the blood will be fatal. A person in a coma would reflexively gasp for air, but a brain-dead person would not. The brain regulates a host of other functions unconsciously too, like body temperature and blood pressure. And it is in charge of hormones that control your metabolism, immune system, and specific organs like your kidneys. Keeping a person's body going after brain death requires a ventilator, blankets, and hormones. That's a lot of outside effort to handle the most basic work of the meatball between your ears. It makes you appreciate everything that that little guy is up to. Thanks, brain. Your brain is pretty vital for that whole staying alive thing, so how much of it can you lose and still not die? Julian covers just how much of your brain is expendable here. If you have more brain to work with, losing parts of it aren't as severe because of the brain's ability to rewire itself. People have lived mostly normal lives with large bits of brain totally absent. Like a woman in China who was born without a cerebellum, a little cauliflower-looking bit in the back of your brain that controls voluntary movement. What else would you like to know about the brain? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you get more DNA. Oh yeah, do you have it? The brain death or death or definition of various com countries, the brain death is uh, looks like this. The, it is uh, irreversible coma, brain death, cerebral death, brain death, and so on. And the brain is uh, brain function is uh, forever lost, lost, and uh, irreversible arrest stop. Eh? It is said the irreparable loss of function, destruction, all of the brain part is disrupted, and no response, and no reflection, well, permanent functional death, okay? it is said. So therefore, the death is uh, many, many countries, the UK, the USA, Sweden, is uh, the, the brain death is, uh, is almost uh, similar to the death they, they are thinking. Yes, they, they, because the, they think the dissociation limit yeah, this situation limit it has. So it is a uh, the uh, vertical axis is uh, the the injury degree of injury of the brain. This is a small, a little bit injured, the severely injured. The it, some some accident is happened, and uh, in some cases it is uh, the recovered like this. The brain function is recovered. And the brain functions is uh, kept at some part and some part, and sometimes it is uh, recovered is a vegetative state. Yeah. The cerebrum is uh, injured. But uh, the, in, in case of brain death, some limit is over this boundary, this limit, and then the, it becomes, the, it cannot be recovered, they say. Recovery, for recovery and the vegetative state, and brain death is a this sustentation. The this boundary is beyond this boundary and never recover. It said, they say. But, ma, kono never recover na. How to how to find the this boundary is one important issue. Yes, this this the boundary. How to how to find this limit, limitation? 
some cases the uh, vegetable state, but to the, after some the long periods uh, they can recover in some cases. Um, uh, only a few cases. But to the brain death is never recover, they say, but to the how to find is uh, one important issue. If the, if it is uh, called uh, that is a brain death condition, how to treat this? How to this this patient? The one is the uh, active treatment, continue this kind of active treatment. The vent ventilator is given continuously, and then the drug is uh, given continuously and repeatedly. Is a uh, well, active active treatment. Well, in some cases, passive treatment, no new, no new operation, no new treatment, but to the same care, same treatment is continued, is a uh, passive treatment. And the man uh, breaking the all of the treatment is uh, one way. The mechanical ventilator is uh, stopped, and uh, if the ventilator is stopped, the brain death become to the cardiac arrest the immediately. Only a few few days, few only a few minutes. And the final way is uh, ma organ donation is also the one way because uh, it is set that they cannot recover, but to the other other than brain or organs is working. So therefore, the organ donation is a one way. Well, in some cases, the after the heart arrest, but uh, but in some cases, the only in the brain death state status, the organ is donated to other patient. organ donation, that if they they are thinking about the organ donation. Brain death is tested. Brain death diagnosis is the given. And if the if the patient and other family members is also agree to the organ donation, the family member agreement, the brain death is given. Is brain death brain death test is the made again. The, the brain death test is uh, the items to test is a uh, deep coma and uh, papillary dilation and uh, the, it is purple is fixed and also the reflection is lost the brain wave is uh, is not uh, working and uh, spontaneous breathing is uh, also of course the not not doing. And this test is uh, at least two, two times, twice it has been given so in the interval of more than six hours. And of course, the, not the treatment doctor, other, the other some, the special doctor should do more than two medical doctors has to do this kind of test without the the treatment doctor. Uh, that is, for example, the throat is given, and the, also the, the corner reflex and the vestibular reflex. Cold water is given to the ear, but no, no response to the eye. And also the light is given here, but no response here. And the cough is, cough is, uh, is some stability is given to the cough, but to the no reflection. And also the, the moving his, his head, the, the, but to the, this eye is, can, can move the following this, uh, this head movement. If the arriving the, arriving the people's eye is the keeping watch some direction, so therefore that we should turn his, his head, but to the 
the I is the after some after some minute after, after this, some moment the following the following this eye eyeball is moved the following its head movement not to the at the similar spontaneously moving his head and the eye this is called doll's eye doll's eye is a simultaneously head movement and eyeball movement is a, at the same time but the humor is want to watch some some keeping some some watching some object so therefore the not to force even by force movement but to the eyeball is the slightly afterward moved like this so therefore the this is door like eye or the arriving people's eye movement is can be distinct distinguished Okay, we're going to do a clinical brain depth evaluation. <clears throat> With the exception of the apnea test, we know that the patient doesn't have any uh, questions about a C-spine integrity. So the first thing we do is establish that the patient is comatose and unresponsive with loud auditory and then tactile stimulation. Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones, open your eyes! Mr. Jones, open your eyes! I'd like to give a vigorous shake duck side to side to see if we can awaken him. I'll do a sternal rub. And then apply pressure on the cranium, usually at the supraorbital notch on both sides. And then at the temporomandibular joint on both sides. Those are painful areas for stimulation and should awaken a patient who's not in coma. So then we will open his eyes and see what they are doing at baseline. So his eyes are midline and conjugate. The pupils are mid-position and appear fixed. I'll test a blink of visual threat. And there is no responsiveness. I'll check his pupillary light reflex, shining a bright light in each eye separately, and you can swing back and forth as well. If there's any question regarding pupillary reactivity, I like to use a magnifying glass, which I always use in patients who are brain dead, to see if there's any even small pupillary reaction which would rule them out for brain stem reflexia and brain death. And there's no responsiveness with either of those. Next, I'll check a corneal reflex. I press on the cornea adjacent to the iris with some pressure, and there is no responsiveness to that. I'll check an oculocephalic reflex, hold the eyes open, and move the head quickly from side to side. There should be no movement of the eyes if the patient is brain dead. It should also be tested vertically taking care not to extubate the patient with this maneuver. And there's no responsiveness to that either. Next we'll check the co-calorics, or the ocular vestibular reflex. We put the head of the bed up to 30 degrees, which he's at approximately right now, to get the proper orientation of the semicircular canals. You look in the ear to make sure that the external auditory canal is free of blood or a cerumen or anything else that might be blocking it and make sure that the tympanic membrane is intact, which it is. Obviously, you check both ears, which I won't do. You put a chucks or some kind of absorbent material next to the patient's head and you have someone help to hold open the eyes. And we hold the eyes open and we're looking for movement for at least 60 seconds. There should be no movement with installation of the ice water. Okay. Okay. So, some the outer stimuli is given and uh, the no less reflection, no response is checked. So therefore the, man, you may understand that this is a brainstem reflection is lost this part. Okay? And the ma coma, coma, to, nanka, periphery dilation. 
then no responsible about the light. And the spontaneous breathing is stopped. And the brain wave is no, no observing the brain waves. So brain activity is only the checked by this yeah, brain waves. So this is brain waves tested also that from the outward some an uh, electrode is given attached to the brain and then the checking the brain wave or brain activities. All of this other other part is the stimuli and response. The response check. So therefore the if the response is response part, response functionality is lost, they cannot they cannot respond. Respond. Of course. So directly the brain brain activity checking is all only about the brain wave observation detection. Brain wave detection. Yeah? Brain wave. Brain wave is also the external wave. Not directly the brain brain's nerve system cannot be checked. Ah, this is one problem. Transplantation, the from donor to the recipient, the organ graft is the transplanted by himself or others. Others means the actual transplantation, the genograft, the genograft transplantation, and the home plastic, the same same species trans transplantation. In the same species transplantation, live organ transplant, the from some healthy people, healthy person, and then the receiving the these healthy people some organ and transplant it. It is including the lung or the kidney. Kidney is a very popular, most popular, and the lung and also the some bone marrow transplantation is the one way, of course, and also the blood, blood, blood itself is also, the, it is familiar for us. But of course, uh, some dead body, the donor body, this is, uh, the, some, some people is donated to the, to the, for example, the medical student, the donation is also to the medical student. The donation, body donation is the usually did. Usually did. The, because some the nani, donate, donor is thinking this body should be used for the young medical student. So therefore the some tested. And also the some part of the of the organ is donated to the patient. So some kidney or some corneal tissues is also donated to some patients. And the third one is a brain death person. The brain death people is uh, the people in the brain death condition, the harvested to the organ, and then the, this is transplanted to some patient. But in this case, brain death, Brain death is uh, is uh, is being be because of the the mechanical ventilator is given to the to the this uh, patient. The be when before the this ventilator is not developed, the brain death and the heart function heart arrest is uh, almost uh, 50 minutes. The, if the brain brain death is only one percent, and the ninety nine percent is the, the cardiac death, heart death, and the cardiac death people is uh, if the the heart is stopped, that it is almost the same at the same time breathing is stopped, and then the brain is stopped, the brain brain cell is destroyed. Because no no mechanical ventilator, so therefore it is only 15 minutes after the brain death. 
after the heart arrest and the brain death. But to the, but to the, by using the ventilator, if the heart is stopped, but to the, by using the ventilator, it can, if the brain is, brain is dead, the, by using a ventilator, several days, his body is working. His body is working, so no, no arresting the heart. So therefore, the by in this period, the some people wants to wants to have the, the, the this this patient's organ to to use it in some case. Yeah, so this is several several dates. Of course, uh, if the brain is stopped, oh, the cannot cannot control the blood circulation system. So therefore, the, it makes the heart stop. In uh, ten or fifteen minutes. But for these these several days, the, some people wants to donate their organ or wants to have these organs. What actually happened to your body? Can you donate your organ? About 95% of Americans support organ donation, but less than half sign up to be a donor. Why is that? Hey there, conscious collection of organs. Jules here for DNews. No one knows exactly why people refuse to be organ donors. Organ donation is a tricky subject, and it's super individual. According to one study, most people gathered information on organ donation by watching scientifically inaccurate shows, like Grey's Anatomy. Another study backed up that data, showing more than half of people learn what they know about donation from television, and another 12% from their friends. Unsurprisingly, 72% of people were afraid of organ donation. So let's burst this anatomically gray bubble and talk about what actually happens during organ donation. First, if a patient enters a hospital, literally no one is thinking about whether or not they're an organ donor. If it's an emergency, then they're working to save the person's life, and if not, they're trying to make them healthy again. But it's a fact of life that they don't always succeed. If the person does die, only then do they check if the person was a donor. Only then. And of course, backing up a step, death itself can be complicated. Some people connect the presence of a heartbeat to life. But since 1981, legally, it's not the heartbeat, but brain activity that determines life or death. If the brain dies, it's not coming back. And patients who are brain dead, by the way, may still have basic functions, sometimes assisted or completely controlled by machines. And sometimes the cadaver will be on a ventilator at the time of death to keep the blood pumping, oxygen moving, and the organs alive. Sometimes, death is easy to spot. Major injury, blood loss, suffocation, hemorrhage, swelling, stroke, and so on all make the diagnosis of brain death easier. But it's never taken lightly. Brain death isn't an accidental or flippant diagnosis like it is on TV. There's no fancy machine with colorful charts monitoring your brain activity. Instead, doctors, yes, there are two, will conduct a brain death test. According to the American Academy of Neurology, this means checking for reflexes controlled by the brain stem. They'll shine a light into the pupil, scratch the back of the throat, poke to cause minor pain, and put water in the ear canal trying to get eye reactions. If there's no response, they're disconnected from the ventilator to see if they have a respiratory drive or if they want to breathe. If they react to none of these, doctors then decide that the person's brainstem isn't controlling their body and they're considered brain dead. The ventilator is turned back on and the family is informed. The doctors then check donor rules and discuss final wishes with the family. If the person's wish is for organ donation, then they look for organ and tissue matches. The heart, kidney, liver, lungs, pancreas, intestines, skin, bone tissue, corneas, tendons, ligaments, and blood vessels can all be transplanted. That might sound like a lot, but that still leaves a lot behind. The doctors take as much care with deceased donors as they do with living humans, taking the donor to a sterilized operating room like any other. An anesthesiologist monitors fluids and body conditions while surgeons remove organs and tissues that can be used and inspect them for any unknown disease or damage. They then pull them for transport to the donee. Once the organs are safely removed, the person is closed like any other surgery and the ventilator is shut off. The body is cleaned, hair is washed, and the body is returned to the family. Real quick, there are a lot of myths out there about this process. 
Donors can have an open casket funeral. There's no problem with that. Organ donation is performed just like any other surgery. And doctors will absolutely work as hard as possible to save your life if you come in, no matter how many desirable looking organs you might have. And finally, no matter how old you are, your organs can be helpful. Organ donation is tough for people. A breathing body with a heartbeat is difficult for many family members to accept as a cadaver. And even if you sign up to be a donor and die in a way suitable for donation, your family can sometimes override that wish. That said, only three in a thousand people die in such a way that allows for donation. They have to be generally healthy, without viral infection, and they have to die in a hospital setting. Over 119,000 children, women, and men are on the waiting list for organ donation, and 22 die each day waiting for a replacement. Unsurprisingly, lots of people are working to get more people to donate their organs. The American Journal of Transplantation published a study recently detailing how Spain reached 40 donors per million people. That's huge. In Australia, it's 18 per million. In Israel, it's 11. In Ecuador, it's 2. Thanks to efforts in the U.S., we're pretty high on the list at 26 per million. In the end, Spain might be in the lead, but the winners are the people who are willing to give up parts of themselves they no longer need, and the stories of those who receive the life-saving donations. So why do we even have to match organs in the first place? That's what one group of researchers thought, so they figured out how to donate from anyone to anyone else. Amy's got that story right here. And if you guys like interesting and obscure facts, which I know you do, check out our friends at Did You Know for nine facts that'll make you smarter than everyone else. And do you plan to donate your organs? Why or why not? Let us know down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more D news every day. This is very individual opinions you, you, you should have. And, in, and then the, in Japan, the, this uh, organ transplant law is uh, the enforcement in the 1997, more than 20 years ago. And, but the case is not so many after, after these, uh, for example, the, these uh, after 15 years, the only the 300 cases. The given. And then the, after two, 2009, it is uh, the partially de devised, and then the, without the small, <laughs> without organ duration intent declaration, the, it is so. To the family member, it can be given. The, before that, the, it only the arbitrary the matching some the uh, matching some the organs or matching matching is very important but to the, after this uh, revision the family member should be should be given the superiority and then the, the nani. no will is unclear the pay, donation donors will the, even the only by the family members agreement the organ donation is become available. Of course, the more than 15 years old, old small children can be given their donation. Because the, pay, uh, the uh, pa parents can agree with the organ donation for their children, of their children's the organs. え、これは何ですかって言ったらこれはどのどのハートランクとかリバーとかパンクリアスとかキドニーとかキドニー is the most familiar of the codes the the acceptable working of after the after the the blood providing stop the blood providing the kidney is more than 3 days it can be this organ can live. So therefore, the before the organ donation law is 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 working, the kidney is the firstly is very familiar, and the liver is also the about to, up to one day the liver organ can work. So therefore, it is more easier than the heart transplantation. The heart is very difficult because after stopping the blood, blood providing, the only four hours it can not work well. Like this.
the man for the Japanese case a little bit like this. And from this, the, I will explain some, some problems. The, as I said, the brain death condition is made by, you, by using the ventilator. Without ventilator, the brain death condition for a few days is, cannot be alive, cannot be given like this. As I said here, the before ventilator the development, the brain function stopping and the cardiac arrest is almost the same time. Breathing stop is also at the same time. All of these three functions stop is the, almost the same time. But to the, by using the mechanical ventilator, the after the brain death, the cardiac death and brain stopping, uh, breathing stopping, is the, it takes a few days. So during these days, the, we can donate his own organs to, to other patients. Uh, the, as I said, the, how to find the limiting point, boundary point for recovery. The, it is very difficult to, to exact, define the boundary point. So the no recover cannot be, well, well, many family members are thinking the possibility is not to tell to recovery. So therefore, the, no, it's okay, the, they want to continue to the medical treatment for the patient. So the, in some cases, the, after the brain death, the, after one year, after some months, several months, the, the heart is working. And also some severe injury, the hypothermic treatment, the low temperature brain keeping is, uh, shows uh, some good, good recovery cases. How to find the irreversible condition is you know, very, very difficult. And also the judgment method, as I said, stimuli and the stimulus and brain and response, only watching the response the not directly testing the brain functionalities, brain cerebrum or brain stem functionality cannot, uh, cannot test, cannot detect. So therefore the only kind of response, because when this uh, nerve system is broken, the if, even though the brain is working, but the no response, cannot show the response. So therefore the more more method should be should be given to the brain test that some people say. More for, for example the nani? Ma, oh, at least cerebral and blood flow should be tested. Blood flow is not working, not flowing inside the brain of the blood. So therefore the, it cannot work with, 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 with some people can agree with. And the, some test, test equipment, the reliability, responsibility about, about the test equipment is also. And also the, some doctors, the other doctors cannot be, it is a little bit hard to find the, the uh, fair doctors. And the rescue treatment is very, very severe. The brain is a very, very, uh, Nervous, nervous, you got sensitive organ. So therefore, the water balance, pH balance is very important to keep their functions. The, if the brain, uh, the water is a small amount, the easy to make the blood clot. And the more over, over water is given, the cerebral edema is, is caused. So therefore, the, for example, the treatment of the brain is very, very severe. And the no breathing test makes the more severe conditions to more damage to the patient body itself. Because the, some, the, the oxygen is not given for the 20 minutes. So therefore, the brain is the, no, no giving uh, the oxygen makes some 
bad damage to the brain. So therefore, the no breathing test makes more damage to the so the patient. It is said. Toka ah, and the one important issue is the informed consent for the patient itself and also the family members. The some information, many information. The patient status and also some treatment should be to the next is also discussed. Should be discussed more and more. Much information shows uh, achieves the good, good, uh, good response, good, good treatment. What is informed consent? What is informed consent? Dentists and patients often have questions about what it means to make a fully informed healthcare decision. In the context of a dental office, informed consent is permission obtained as a result of sharing information in an ongoing dialogue between the dentist and the patient. Informed consent allows the patient to make an informed decision about accepting or rejecting proposed treatment. Ontario's Healthcare Consent Act states that, in addition to having their questions answered, patients are entitled to be informed about the nature of the treatment, the expected benefits of the treatment, the material risks of the treatment, the material side effects of the treatment, alternative courses of action, the likely consequences of not having the treatment. RCDSO also requires dentists to discuss direct and additional costs of treatment with patients as part of the informed consent process. Informed consent must be specific to the patient and the treatment. Patients should be given adequate time to consider the options and decide about treatment before proceeding, especially in cases where the proposed treatment is extensive, elective, or risky in nature. One of the fundamentals of consent is that a patient is allowed to change their mind at any time and withdraw consent. Any withdrawal of consent must be respected despite any inconvenience it may cause. A signed consent form is evidence that information was disclosed to and discussed with a patient, and the patient agreed to treatment. However, obtaining consent is not a single event. It is a process that occurs over time. Dentists should include clear documentation of consent discussion in their patient's charts. For more information, visit the Informed Consent Resources section of our website, www.rcdso.org, or contact our Practice Advisory Service at practiceadvisory at rcdso.org. Oh, yeah. Importance of informed consent, you can understand. And uh, the, this chart shows the recipient life expectancy. expectancy yes, the after, after giving the organ transplantation, how, how many people is working, is living and working? Survival rate is keeping the living. Ne? The black survival rate is uh, black beans. Uh, that uh, transplanted graft is uh, working usually is a uh, graft surviving rate. survival rate. ね? After the heart transplant, one year, second year, two year, three year, year after transplantation, then, and, uh, how many people is, uh, is uh, living? The heart transplantation, kidney transplantation, liver transplantation, lung transplantation. For example, 80% to 60%, lung is 5 years, 60%. But to the, the nani, 5 year heart transplantation is more than 90% living. Ne? Living, surviving. But to the, about the this work, graft survival rate, rate ne? graft survival rate, the kidney, pancreas, 
liver, the small intestine, intestine and the heart and lung, the one year, five year, ten year, do you see? The kidney is five year, the sixty percent, the ten year, the thirty percent, forty percent, right? That the transplanted kidney is working or not? So, the heart is one year, the ninety percent. 5イヤーで70%、ファイブイヤーで70%。だからこれはこのハートがワーキングは70%ぐらいですね。70%。で10イヤーだとまあレスダンハーフですね。50%。まあトランスプランテーション。9イヤーズワーキング。オンリー9イ
At the end of this reflex, the arms relax, falling across her chest. Commonly, the arms end up in a position similar to that of an Egyptian mummy. These types of reflex arcs have been shown to occur in up to 39% of brain dead patients. So if you ever witness this phenomenon, try not to freak out and remember, it's only a reflex arc. For, but to even for the family members, the, the patient is moving, so therefore they see that they are living, the, the, this patient is living. So, what is the name of 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 this this uh, this is uh, the ma これこれは this side side of ねえっと some materials to 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 decorate this box ねでまあこういうのありますよっていうようにあの traditionally the human body is used the, this is in Japan's case、uh, Japan's folk remedy Some brain, liver, and lung is、uh, used as a medicine. And、uh, in Meiji period, more than、uh, less than 100 years ago, the, some the dead person's body bone is、uh, stolen. And、uh, from this, bone, this person's and the brain fluid is、uh, stolen. This, this accident, this accident is、uh, usually happened. And the placenta the, is also the, used as the, some the hepatic insufficiency or the menopause symptoms. The, this the, as a drug, human placenta is used. And the pox placenta is the source of the, the, some revitalizer or the healthy food or cosmetics. なんかこなんか変なこれちょっと見ますパンこれこれとかだけどプラセンタっていう It's been called the tree of life Its branches connecting mother and child Nurturing Protecting Until the child is born If you think about how the placenta looks It has you know a, a long trunk which is the umbilical cord And then it has these veins on the end Most women never see the placenta after giving birth. It's usually just dumped in a bucket and thrown to the side. This one is a big baby, so. But Ivy Parrish has seen hundreds. She's a placenta encapsulator. She turns placentas into pills. She says it makes the idea of women eating their own placentas, yes, eating them, a little easier to swallow. I thought that it was kind of weird that I was, you know, cutting up somebody else's placenta because it came from a person. You want to go ride on a motorcycle? So, why do it? Why would any woman eat their own placenta as a pill or otherwise? When you hear about it, it's kind of weird, kind of creeps you out. I mean, others like her believe it's medicinal, helping milk production and mood swings. There are hormones, there's vitamins, more iron, with all the energy. <laughs> えっと、ヒューマンボディはユーストトレッショナルにねでだからアンドゥザオフコースザヒューマンボディイズザまあコンプリートリユースイズザまあトレッショナルウェイフォーグザンプルインザ USA ザリサイクルヤセオフェザワンキャンペーンアンドオーソーザザオルガンイズオーソーザパブリックソーソーアポリティカルソーソーアサムシングザイティセットインサムケースアンドビコーズオブザブレインデス The patient body is used for the transplantation source or the storage or the medical treatment to the, the from, for the her, from some, if necessary, some part is the harvested from its body. And also the medical or chemical manufacturing, the, it is very good, to, good way to test it by using the human body itself. And the drug test or the medical patient, to do, as I said, the medical student to do the anatomy 
anatomy practical play, practice or training. The, you, some of you know the movie Island. It is uh, some the cloning people is uh, living in some island, and then the, it is also it is uh, the, it is they, they are living for the harvesting from organs for the original people. Yes. We could live, live in there. One island, the perfect life one. Some clone is living. Many clones, only clones are living. Okay, it's done. 